Hi, my name is Marcus Wyatt uh, and this video is brought to you by the Cape Town Music Academy. Um, so for this video I thought I would chat a little bit about the process of choosing musicians. Um, I guess more from the perspective of a, of a band leader. Um, since I run various projects and some of them are fairly large ensembles, um, this is obviously a very important um, step in in making music and of course very important in translating what it is that you want to get across musically, what you want to present, the sound that you want to present. Um, <clears throat> so obviously um, music is a like like all art is a is a vehicle for for people's personalities to come through um, and thank goodness um, we don't all play the same uh, otherwise obviously all music would sound the same um, so we have this amazing um, diverse um, range of sounds um, to choose from in terms of musicians uh, so yeah first thing obviously is deciding what it is that you want to do what kind of sound um, what kind of music you'd like to present um, and then everything else comes from that um, if you if you starting a project and your music is going to be very um, spacey or modal or you know maybe quite visual music um, then obviously you have to look at a certain kind of musician um, musicians who are um, maybe strong melodic players um, who are very um, particular when it, I guess when it comes to sound and the producing of sound um, you know right away from the drummers to the horn players these are all important factors because it might not you know people are not necessarily going to be playing super loud or screaming on the instruments um, and so sound becomes all important um, the same applies if you're starting a project that's that is playing like heavy funk um, or heavy groove music obviously you need to find the right musicians for that you need to find a bass player and drummer that that, that are happy to just sit back and, and and sit in the pocket and lay down the groove um, so that you know that aspect of the music comes out um, same thing if you're producing a, a group that that is going to be playing technically challenging music um, some skunk funk for instance like that those kind of songs um, very very technical songs then then you need to look at at um, at musicians who who have great technical ability um, or chops as they say <laughs> um, so these are you know, these are very important um, when deciding on who to to book and to play with um, it's not always going to be the easy road um, I guess this uh, I've learned that you know over the over many years um, is something that that you have to decide I guess early on um, because a lot of great musicians a lot of great artists and I you know it's they they do sometimes um, find it hard to separate um, the personal from the business in a sense um, if you know what I mean like so you you're not just booking a musician sometimes you're booking the whole package you, you're getting the emotional side you're getting um, you know the the flaws and the faults that people have um, and you have to decide whether or not um, that that you're up for that um, because um, it can obviously make your your life um, in terms of organizing everything quite challenging but from my side the way I see it um, the music comes first in absolutely every way so for me it's not necessarily a choice it's it's something that I that I'm compelled to do um, so in that sense it makes it a little bit easier to deal with because it's it's not really a choice um, of course it's it's also perfectly um, understandable that you might want to go a slightly easier route and um, book great musicians who are who who know how to separate separate all those things and don't necessarily bring their baggage to the table. Um, so yeah, that's those are all things to think about. Um, I think within ensembles, this is something else that um, in larger ensembles that sometimes. Um, irks me a little bit is is when you you're playing a large ensemble and um, there's space for improvising and soloing um, and it's sometimes clear that the that the band leader or the or the, the um, whoever's directing the music um, doesn't give that much thought in fact it's sometimes an afterthought and I I really really strongly believe that it should never be an afterthought 
um, you'll find people just sometimes saying, well, um, there's a solo here, who wants the solo? Um, or I need a sax player to solo here, okay, and just randomly point at someone. Um, I think in large ensembles and music with improvisation, um, who who gets to improvise or who solos on that music is as important as the composition itself. Um, so you you should always think about that if you can. Um, and and look at the music before you get into that position and say, okay, what, what kind of song is this? Are we playing so what? It's modal. Let me let me get a guy who's who's playing melodically and can actually generate some some additional composition which is beautiful within the overall composition. Um, and same really applies to choosing musicians. So um, don't ever um, um, throw that away as, as something that's not important. It's it is super important. Um, anyway, I hope these tips have helped. Um, yeah, I guess I might see you guys tomorrow. See ya. <laughs>